When we mention toe balls and toe bars to most people, they get an image of the ball and the connector variety, which is pretty good for things like your average caravan or for your, even your small trailer. But they have limitations in terms of the terrain that they can actually attack. However, for somewhere like the Flinders Ranges, the opportunity to explore rugged tracks is too good to miss. And this is where a polyblock articulated hitch, or as many know it, a treg hitch really comes into its own. So, what's a polyblock hitch? We've disconnected one for you to have a look at. You get three bits, basically. This, your U-shaped receiver. You get a polyblock hitch. And then, your third piece, a pin to hold it all together. Let's have a look at it as it's connected to the car. The U-shaped receiver simply replaces the standard tow ball. The polyblock coupling on the RV's A-frame slides into the receiver, and this spring pin connects everything together. The reason why a polyblock hitch is suited to more extreme terrain is that it can achieve 70 degrees of vertical oscillation and 360 degrees of rotation. This large degree of movement suits steep inclines and declines as well as steep angles of body roll. You'll also find that this type of hitch tows quieter on the roads. So if you're going to tow in rugged off-road conditions, keep your eye out for the polyblock hitch. Over the last six episodes, we've talked about towing with safety. And it's been great to be with you. Just a couple of final hints. There's a great range of experts out there that are only too willing to help you, so give them a call. In addition, there's a great little book called The Caravan Towing Guide. It's got so much information in it, it'll fit in your glove box. Plus, if you can't remember the name, it's actually online. Just a couple of last things to remember as well. Caravanning is about enjoyment and relaxation, so do it with safety. See you next time. <laughs>